The conditional past tense. Now here is a condition. Here is a condition in the past. So to use the conditional past, it is to express about a condition in the in the past. Now. The conditional past, it is the conditional past tense. It is the conditional, the conditional past. The conditional past is used to express a condition in the, in the past. Thank you very much. Now let's take an example. Let's take an example. Adama. Would. Adama would have played hand handball. Now here they have subject plus would have so plus past participle. Past participle. Here is the subject Adama. Here is in, here is I'm sorry auxiliary of the conditional would. Here is to have plus past participle, right? My friends, So, my fans would have gone to, to chess, right? They have the subject here, my friends, plus would, plus have, plus past participle, past participle of to go. Now, so for me, here, so for me, here, now, subject, plus, would half plus would half plus past participle past participle this is the past participle right
this is this is the form for a for a conditional pass. Now we say the conditional pass is used to express a condition in the in the past. This is the first possibility to use a conditional pass to express a condition in the past. Second possibility it is it is also used in the third form we if with these sentences. It is also used in the set, in the third form, with if, with if sentences. Let's take an example. Here. Example, if you If you hard worked hard, if you had worked hard, you you would you would have you would have passed. your exam if you work if you had worked hard you would pass your your exam right this is the conditional conditional pass this is a better better means the simple the simple pass so here they have Subject. I'm sorry, they have if. I'm sorry. Plus. Plus. Pass. Plus. Pass. Perfect. If. Plus. Pass. Had what? If. Plus. Pass. Perfect. So. Plus. The conditional pass. So they have if plus pass perfect. So if plus pass perfect plus conditional pass here in the example they have if you had worked hard, you would have passed your, your exam. Now they have two possibilities now to use the conditional part. The first is to express a condition in the past. The second is the in the third form with a sentence with a sentences. Right, let's go with the negative. Adam would have played handball. They have another one. Would would not would not have would not have played. So they have would not or Adama wouldn't wouldn't have played it. So negative. Adama would not have played handball or Adama wouldn't have played it. And well, thank you very much. Here, my friends would have gone to 
Yes. So negative form. My friends. My friends wouldn't wouldn't have gone to chess. Wouldn't have gone to chess. Wouldn't have gone. Wouldn't have gone to chess. Now these examples are into the negative form. Now interrogative, interrogative form. Now, Adama would have played handball, would, would Adama have played Would, would Adama have played handball, right? My friends would have gone to chess, so would my friends have gone to chess. This is the interrogative form. Now into negative. Into negative. Adama would have played. Handball into negative wouldn't. Wouldn't. Adama have Played handball. So they have wouldn't. Wouldn't Adama have played handball? Right, next sentence. Wouldn't my friends. Wouldn't my friends have gone to chess? So they have. Wouldn't my friends have gone to to chess? Now these examples are into the into the intro negative. So, right, thank you very much. This was about the, about the conditional past. Thanks.